Well, meanwhile, in the city of Akron, they passed an ordinance Monday night to slow the spread of COVID. Romney Smith joins us now, and for the next 30 days, Romney, they're asking people to keep their bubble small. Is this causing confusion for people? Because it really sounds like it's confusing. Yeah, because the state's allowing big gatherings still. So I spoke with Summit County Public Health Commissioner Donna Skoda today, who says this is ultimately being done to try to reduce the number of COVID cases in Akron. She says the current spike is actually from Halloween and family gatherings. So the state has a gathering order with the maximum of 10 people in private events, but they're still allowing weddings and funerals and things like that. Akron city officials say they want to limit private gatherings to just six people outside of your home. So that's six people on top of however many live inside your household. Get it? So if you have five plus six others, only 11 are allowed. I asked why this limit was reduced from the state's recommendation of 10 down to six. Here's the explanation I got. Because we were thinking that most homes have between somewhere between at least two, you know, four, five, six people in the home and six would get us closer to that 10 number. What we were fearful of is if we left it at 10, then if you had 10 people already in your home, you'd have 20 people. And that is way too many people to have in your house. So the goal is to have a smaller number of people in the house and even then to still wear a mask unless you're eating or drinking and be socially distanced as to not spread COVID because we still do not have any way of knowing who's an asymptomatic carrier. But the major confusion, again, still doesn't stop there because the state's allowing large gatherings like weddings with more than 100 people, funerals and religious services. So Akron is still letting private get togethers happen, but they're saying, you know what, one day you could go to a wedding with 100 people and the next day they're saying no more than six outside of your household. So that's where the confusion comes in. I spoke with Akron's mayor about why he's targeting small gatherings specifically and the danger Akron residents face if they don't heed that warning that's coming up at six. I mean, how is this going to be enforced? How are they going to police this? Are we going to come and knock on your door? I got Let all me your how answers. many people are in your living room? I mean, this is where you start to get to the point where you're like, all right, let's just keep our bubbles to ourselves. It's easier because you know what? You could be going in for that turkey and the police could knock on your door. It could that, happen. I, that would be shocking okay. to me. Like, to me, that's a bit much. Yeah. So we'll kind of see what you have for us tonight on What Matters Most at 6. Thanks, Romney. Yeah. Okay.